Hey there, fellow time travelers of the silver screen. Do you remember those days when black and white television sets ruled the living room and the anticipation of a thrilling movie night was enough to make your heart race? Well, it's time to take a trip down memory lane back to 1959 and ask, have you ever watched The Tingler? I'm talking about that spine-tingling classic that had folks gripping the edges of their seats, biting their nails, and maybe even letting out a scream or two. It was a time when Vincent Price's menacing presence was enough to send shivers down your spine, and the mere thought of the tingler itself might have kept you up at night. As we dive back into the world of cinema history, I want to hear your stories. Do you recall your favorite scenes, those unforgettable characters, or the moments when the tingler had you on the edge of your seat? Share your memories with us, let's reminisce together. But hold on to your popcorn, because there's more to come. In just a moment, he'll be unleashing some intriguing random facts about this iconic movie. Stay tuned for the tantalizing tidbits that will take you even deeper into the realm of the tingler. So, who's ready to unlock the mysteries and chills of this cinematic gem from yesteryears? Let's get started on this journey through time and movies. Director William Castle's 1959 movie The Tingler brought thrills to the silver screen in a unique way. However, instead of discussing the provided ideas, let's delve into an interesting and controversial fact about this film. In The Tingler, the audience experienced electrifying shocks through vibrating seats. Castle rigged select theater seats with small electric motors, causing viewers to tingle at pivotal moments in the film. It's estimated that over 20 million backsides received this electrifying treatment during the film's theatrical run, leaving many both thrilled and startled. The film's innovative use of technology and interactive experiences set it apart from conventional cinema of the time. While the concept was a bit shocking, it undeniably left a lasting mark on the world of horror films. So, the next time you enjoy a spine-tingling horror movie, remember that The Tingler was one of the pioneers of interactive cinema, leaving millions buzzing with excitement in their seats. The Tingler, a 1959 movie, is known for its unique features. One notable aspect of the film is the use of clips from Tollable David, a 1921 silent film, which are shown in the cinema scene. This technique added an interesting twist to the movie's storyline, making it stand out in its time. The titular tingler in the movie is not your typical monster. It's a large-scale model of a velvet worm, also known as a peripatus, belonging to the phylum Onychophora. This creature is positioned halfway between an earthworm and an arthropod in terms of its characteristics. This unusual choice for a movie monster added to the film's intrigue and gave it a distinctive visual appeal. Moreover, The Tingler is also noteworthy for being one of the earliest mainstream films to depict an LSD trip. This depiction marked a daring move for the time and contributed to the film's reputation as a cult classic. In conclusion, The Tingler is a 1959 movie that stands out for its use of clips from Tollable David, its unique monster concept in the form of the Velvet Worm, and its groundbreaking portrayal of an LSD trip. These elements make it a notable entry in the history of cinema. The Tingler's shocking secrets in the spine-tingling world of 1950s horror cinema, William Castle's The Tingler stands out not only for its thrills, but for the creative ways it aimed to frighten its audience. Released on July 29, 1959, this cult classic played with the nerves of moviegoers in more ways than one. Castle was no stranger to gimmicks, and The Tingler was no exception. In addition to his famous percepto, vibrating buzzers hidden in select theater seats to coincide with the appearance of the titular terror, he toyed with other ideas. Rolling bean bags were considered to brush against the legs of viewers, speakers mounted strategically to emit spine-chilling screeches, and even the use of shills to operate mechanical devices that would tickle the audience's legs. But percepto proved to be the only viable way to truly shock and thrill the viewers. While the tingler scared its way into cinematic history, it also had a hand in bringing two people together. Pamela Lincoln and Daryl Hickman, who portrayed the young suitors in the film, found real love. They tied the knot on November 28, 1959, just a few months after the film's release. The couple eventually had two children, but like many Hollywood love stories, they parted ways on December 8, 1982. And it doesn't stop there. 
This quirky horror flick even made its way into pop culture infamy. John Wilson, founder of the Golden Raspberry Awards, included The Tingler in his book, The Official Razzie Movie Guide, listing it among the 100 most amusingly bad movies ever made. A testament to its unique blend of horror and humor. The Tingler remains a fascinating and unforgettable piece of cinematic history with its director's dedication to giving the audience a good scare and its ability to bring love and laughter amidst the screens. The Tingler, a shocking revelation from director William Castle in 1959. Director William Castle electrified audiences with his horror film, The Tingler. However, it wasn't just the on-screen thrills that made this movie a sensation. Castle's confession in his biography added a shocking dimension to the film's legacy. Castle revealed that he rigged some theater seats with electric devices to buzz and jolt unsuspecting moviegoers. According to him, he managed to startle at least 20 million behinds during the film's run. This audacious marketing stunt was designed to make viewers feel the same tingling sensations as the characters on the screen. While Castle's electrifying gimmick is now infamous in the history of cinema, it's worth noting that no one was harmed during these shocking movie experiences. The seats provided harmless jolts to create a sense of fear and excitement, leaving the audience both terrified and amused. The Tingler may not have won critical acclaim, but it certainly left a mark in the annals of movie marketing and directorial audacity. With Castle's electrifying confession, the film took on a life of its own, becoming a cult classic remembered not only for its spine-tingling plot, but also for the electrifying experiences it offered to its audiences. In 1959, The Tingler dared to challenge the boundaries of traditional cinema, making its viewers part of the horrifying experience. Director William Castle's shocking revelation continues to be a talking point in the world of cinema history, and his electrifying legacy endures to this day. In the 1959 movie The Tingler, Judith Evelyn plays a mute and terrified silent movie theater owner. Five years earlier, she portrayed Miss Lone the Hearts in Alfred Hitchcock's classic Rear Window, where she didn't utter a single word. This intriguing parallel in her roles showcases her versatility as an actress. Additionally, The Tingler earned a place in John Wilson's book, The Official Razzie Movie Guide, where it's listed among the 100 most amusingly bad movies ever made. This acknowledgement sheds light on the film's unique charm and its status in the world of cinema. Moreover, The Tingler features clips from Tollable David, a 1921 film. These snippets within the cinema provide a fascinating connection between two different eras in filmmaking. In summary, The Tingler not only offers an intriguing performance by Judith Evelyn, but also holds a place in the annals of amusingly bad cinema, as recognized by John Wilson. Its inclusion of clips from Tollable David adds an extra layer of historical significance to this 1959 movie. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic realms of The Tingler, I invite you to take a moment to contemplate the curious tendrils that this 1959 cinematic masterpiece has woven into your own personal tapestry. This peculiar tale of fear, tingling sensations, and the human psyche has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Whether you were captivated by the spine-tingling performances of the talented cast, mesmerized by Vincent Price's inimitable charisma, or found yourself pondering the fascinating intersection of science and superstition, the tingler holds a special place in the labyrinth of your cinematic memories. Perhaps you watched it on a rainy evening, huddled with friends, your laughter, and screams resonating in unison. Maybe it was a solitary viewing, a late-night exploration of the unknown, leaving you haunted by the tingling sensations that lurk in the shadows of your mind. Or it could be that this film sparked a fascination with the human psyche, inspiring you to delve deeper into the realms of psychology and the uncanny. Whatever your experience, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, reflections, or thoughts about The Tingler. It's in the exchange of our cinematic recollections that the true magic of this art form thrives. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the peculiar and macabre world of The Tingler. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, keep exploring the mysteries of the silver screen.